Now joining us for Enet is Tomas Lopez. I heard your weekend was nothing short of a drag, Tomas. Thanks, Erica. That's right, we had a blast this weekend at Drag Nation. But I'll share that with you a little bit later. First, let's talk everything entertainment in this week's Top 5. First up on Top 5, an update on the critical condition of Bobby Christina. Bobby was found unresponsive last Saturday in her bathtub. She was then rushed to an Atlanta hospital where she was placed in a medically induced coma. Sources say her condition has worsened and that immediate family has gathered in her support. At number four, if you watch the Super Bowl halftime show, you know that singer and rapper Missy Elliott stole the spotlight and let the world know she still got it. Elliott's been MIA due to her battle with Graves' disease and her commitment to getting back on a healthier track. Sunday revealed a more slender and energetic Missy than ever before. Her hit song, Lose Control, made it back onto the top Billboard 100 charts and made it to number three. Get your freak on, Missy! <laughs> Coming in at number three, for those of you who missed Monday night's episode of Celebrity Apprentice, you missed one explosive showdown. The tension between Kenya and Vivica came to a climax when Team Vortex lost their fifth challenge in a row, ending with a nasty tweet and the elimination of housewife Kenya Moore. Team Vortex gains Lisa Gibbons and wins their first team challenge, leaving Infinity on the losing end of the game. An unimpressed Donald Trump fires not one, not two, but three celebrities. At number two, just in time for Valentine's Day, things are getting steamy with the up-and-coming release of Fifty Shades of Grey. The film is already banned in Malaysia for being too erotic. Critics say the film contains 20 minutes of sex scenes, making it the most racy film to be released in 10 years. Finally, at number one, a heartfelt clip as a husband set the bar high on a Valentine's Day with a little surprise for the apple of his eye. Well, that does it for our top five trending stories of the week. Speaking of trending, the Super Bowl was one of the most watched shows of 2015. Most people watch it for the game, some for the halftime show, and others for the commercials. So how did the Super Bowl ads stack up this year? Overall, there's some disappointment in the ads selected this season. Commercials were found more serious, as, like the Nationwide Safety commercial, portraying a young boy who died in an accident. However, companies like Budweiser showcased the Budweiser Clydesdale, which captures a more positive scenario of a horse rescuing a puppy and bringing it home. Some commercials made it big this year, while others, mm, not so lucky. Well, with the growing popularity of Logo's hit series, RuPaul's Drag Race, it set a new standard for drag entertainment. Well, we got the inside scoop at Nina Flowers' Drag Nation in Trax Denver. On the last Friday of every month, you might find something a little different behind the curtains at Trax Denver. The music is playing, the people are dancing, and the performers... Well, the performers are laying the final touches on their drastic transformation from man to queen. I'm telling you now, girls, this place beats everything in the U.S. This is the place, Drag Nation. And Nina Flowers, I'm in love with Nina Flowers. In 2010, drag race runner-up Nina Flowers returned home and started her own drag production, setting the tone for what is now Drag Nation. It's an amazing setup. We have a great crowd, a good amount of people, and it's really nice to get to work with a different set of bartenders and a different group of group of the Trax family every night. In addition to serving as a stepping stone for Denver's best talent, Drag Nation also attracts world-renowned performers such as Amanda Lepore. It's not just a drag show, it's a whole production. It's not just them getting up on stage and pantomiming. They're putting together a show that everybody enjoys. And Drag Nation is great because the drag queens all around the country they all want to come to Denver to be on this stage. So whether you're just a little curious or you're a die-hard fan, this is a community that welcomes everyone with open arms and open minds. We love Down Nation! And what? Shantae, you stay. Haters, sashay away. Be sure to stay tuned for my one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview with Nina Flowers. Onto a different stage, let's take a look at what movies are lighting up the big screen with this week's must-sees. Oh my gosh, did you see that? You gotta check it out. I wanna see that. That's so cool, I can't wait. We have to go and check that out. Let's see. We've been taught that the birthplace of the human race is Earth, but it's not. 
Do you know what this will do to people when they find out the truth? I don't think that most people would want to know the truth. I do. Events of galactic proportion are taking place this weekend with the release of the new sci-fi action flick, Jupiter Ascending. Mila Kunis plays the part of Jupiter Jones, a downtrodden caretaker who's unaware of her extraordinary inheritance to a throne that's been taken over by an evil prince. It is up to Kane, played by Shanning Tatum and Jupiter, to alter the balance of the cosmos and save the universe. Facial hair is in, but this mustache is one of a kind. That's right, Johnny Depp plays a new but still charismatic character on the silver screen as Charlie Mordecai. This shady art dealer gets into a top secret mission to retrieve a stolen Goya painting that contains a code to a bank account filled with something great. Be sure to check out this movie in a theater near you. Where the body was found. What are you doing? Oh no, to the left a bit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm into the right. To the left. <laughs> Charlie. Those movies look so great. I can't wait to get out to the theaters this weekend. Yeah, each one looks like box office uh, hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cannot wait to see the Shining Tatum movie. Yes. I mean, Jupiter Ascending with Mila Kunis. <laughs> yeah, and or Cynthia Maldonado. She was able to get an interview with uh, the bad guy. In oh, that she's movie. awesome. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. Well, sports is next. We'll be right back.